Welcome to an extraordinary adventure in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula. Today, we're immersing ourselves in the captivating beauty, rich culture, and delicious cuisine of Saudi Arabia. There are many misconceptions about this country, but in this series, we're here to uncover the real Saudi Arabia. From savoring authentic Saudi dishes to exploring iconic landmarks like the ancient wonders of Alula and the spiritual city of Medina, we'll also be getting to know its welcoming people. We are starting our journey in the vibrant capital city of Riyadh. So get ready for an experience you won't forget. Assalamu alaikum from beautiful, sunny Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I'm super excited. I just arrived. I've been building up this trip in my mind for over three years since tourism opened back in 2019. And today I'm gonna to take you a tour on the old town of Saudi Arabia. Right here we have Al Masbak. So this is the beginning of the unification of Saudi Arabia. It was built in 1865. It's a mud fortress. And uh, so we're gonna see some coffee culture inside here. They have an exhibit. And then after this, we're gonna go have a traditional Saudi lunch. I'm here with Michelle. Tassos and we're ready to start our tour. Let's go. You made it. What up? We made it. No, last minute, but we're here super excited, you know, to get to learn more about this you know, undiscovered place, really. So let's go. Let's go. And they start to open the old area. Hello, hello. All right. So as you can see, we just walked through the entire museum. At the end of the museum, they have this Saudi coffee ex experience. We're gonna have five different cups of coffee. And over here we have a gentleman pouring us coffee. And this is Saudi coffee. Kahwa, kahwa, kahwa. And so the way it works here is that you have a cup, right? And you go. Oh man, that is good. Aromatic. Wow, super, super fresh. So the way it works, you drink it, right? It's still boiling hot. But at the end, if you're done, you go like this, right? Like that. And then you're done. But I want more, I just continue, right? I guess I'll have another one. I could do like 20 cups, bro. What is this? Coffee? Mm -hmm. Yes. But like, I, I'm so impressed because I expected it to be like darker brown, you know? That's yeah. Like. It's like yellow. Scorching? No, but this is like really light, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's interesting. Here in Saudi, you, will, you can taste different taste in every house, in every family, because they make it in a different way. Chocolate. And here in the first room of the exhibit, we learn about where the coffee comes from. So coffee comes from Jazan, right? That's the South. We're gonna be there the last day and we're gonna experience coffee culture there directly. Um, here we have a few different tools they use you know, to make the coffee. And then over here, it's just a different process of the beans. Over here we have a gentleman who picked the beans. And over here at the very end, we have the Kulani bean tree. That is the coffee bean. So we have different ages, 45 days, two months, four months, eight months, two years. And now we're gonna get an explanation of the five cups. I'm ready for my cup. Cup number one. Uh, cup number one is an eighth cup. This cup is not drunk by you. The host himself, he's the one who will drink this coffee, uh, cup of coffee to make sure it's not poisoned and to make sure it's, uh, the taste is good, the quality is fine. It's not poisoned, what if it's poisoned? <laughs> then he will die. <laughs> <laughs> I will die. So, because back in the days, all strangers are, are welcome into your house. Everyone literally can come into your house and enjoy a cup of coffee. So this one is a sign of trust that the coffee is fine, the taste is good, and it has no poison in it. Because this is very ancient. It's like an ancient tradition. Yes. Interesting. So we're not trying five coffees, they're just giving us the history of the five cups, right? And here we have a few of the ingredients, right? So we've got ginger, saffron, uh, anise, cardamom, and behind us we have the traditional setting of where the coffee makers would sit and make coffee. So they come in here, yep, and then they sit down here, and they got a modern pestle, put everything together, and they put it here, boiling water, and then eventually they pour the coffee. So I love the setting. Pretty cool, but I think it's time to go to lunch. Let's go. Saudi lunch. Yalla, yalla. All right, so after seeing a little bit of the history of Riyadh and Saudi Arabia, the coffee, 
Now we're going for a delicious lunch. I'm super, super hungry. I cannot wait. Saudi food is delicious. Let's go eat. Maybe some kapsa? I don't know. Let's go. The best kapsa you would try. Kapsa, the national dish of Saudi Arabia. Have you had it before? Yalla, 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 yalla. <laughs> Let's go. We are in Al Murabba. It's a old area in, uh, in Riyadh. And in the past, it was the famous area. So this part of the town obviously looks very old. What we're going through now is going to look very new. A lot of new skyscrapers. The infrastructure here is incredible. I mean, everywhere you go, roads are impeccable. Everything is like perfect. It feels so good. And you have a lot of air conditioning in every car, of course. And like every major city, lots of traffic. So expect at least 30 minutes to get anywhere in Riyadh. Nice, huh? I like it. And after a 30 minute drive, we're here. Look at this restaurant. Incredible, love the architecture. Beautiful traditional architecture. You got like mud, you have clay. Let's go inside. Let's eat a kapsa, national dish of Saudi Arabia. Love this house, huh? The name of this restaurant is called Naj Village. So as you can see, it's like a museum when you enter and you walk over here, you have this open, beautiful courtyard. And on the right and the left, they have a seating area to the south. This is how you eat traditional Saudi style on the floor. But it's a bunch of fans in Oman, in UAE. I guess we get this one. The shoes off. When we get inside. And you sit down. Oh, it's just like that, right? Yeah, great. Perfect. And then you eat. You have to eat with one knee down, and you go like this. What is that? A mat? Yes, a mat for food. That's what it's for, man. To relax. Post up here. Literally stretch out. Oh, amazing. Of course, we have to have kapsa. National dish, pressed rice with light spices. Can't wait. So here right next to uh, our seating area, we have these gentlemen making some naan bread. So they roll out the dough into these balls and they put it in the tandoor, the tandoor. So we get super nice, oh wow, it's hot, it's super hot flaky. Oh god, mm. the ghee, like a pillow, nice and doughy in the middle, super crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, follow me. Here's the food here. Wow, what a way to bring my fat. This is our feast. Huge, massive feast. We have the kapsa right in the middle, so that is the national dish. We have two different rices, we have some lamb, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like nine different sides. We have a mixed rice, so some of them are meat, some of them are bread mixed with tomato. This one is rice with, a, I guess, like a stew almost, with vegetables, this is potato, soup. This one is? That's rice with yogurt. Rice and yogurt. Long time, then the main thing is the uh, up with mm -hmm. onion, uh, it's cooked with special in special way with uh, black pepper. With black pepper, mm -hmm. okay. And then we also have like a spicy one over yeah. there. What is that? This is spicy salad. Spicy salad, then we also have the salad on the side, like cucumbers, bell peppers. We have some bosa, we have this is the puri, this is their naan, right? And then we have lemon. lemon. Lemon is amazing, so this is yogurt. Can you see what happened over I think we don't drink it now like this. We drink it in a glass. Okay. But in the natural way, or in the old way, we can drink it. Okay, perfect. And then how do we start this meal? So, for me, I will not use this one. Okay, <laughs> me either. I will use my hand. Okay, so we're going to move in the cup side. Yes. Get to the middle. So, we can, okay. yes. And you have just have one corner. Yes. Go to the another. That's how we always do it, right? So yeah. you take it to a corner. For me, mm -hmm. I will do salad. Oh, so you add a salad. Mm. The, the yogurt and cucumber. Okay. 
and I will mix it by my hand. Then I will take it like this, and I will eat it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll do the same thing, right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of this creamy cucumber yogurt. I'm gonna go in. So mine is a little different. She has the red rice over there. I have the white rice with some saffron, always. And then that, that yogurt, what it does is it turns it into a nice glue, right? So you try to get this, mix it in beautiful like that. Love all the different colors here. A few different uh, spices in there, right? And then straight in. Mm -hmm. It's unreal. It's light. Mm -hmm. And you can feel the. It's not as strong in your stomach. You know, mm -hmm. it's light. You can eat a lot and still you are not feeling full. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the white rice, there is zafaran, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's giving a uh, different uh, flavor. And there's also some uh, cardamom, nutmeg. I see some black pepper here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a little bit this side. The red one is different. Yeah, the red one's better, right? And then what I'm missing is a little bit of that. Perfect, and then you just go in here and you get your hands dirty. God gave us these utensils. And you turn into like a little ball. And then straight up. So here in the Arabian Peninsula, rice is king. Super slow cooked. And then if you want to, you can get in there, take off the bone, right? And in the bone, Oh, you know it, huh? Yeah, of course. So as you can see, that's bone marrow. That's the best. So usually what we do is... I guess this one's harder. Oh my God. This is the best way to eat it. Exactly. Yeah. It's like gelatin in there. I'm done. <laughs> Balafia. Balafia. So Balafia just means like, I guess to your health, right? Yeah. Balafia. So wow. I put some lemon in my fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I will call it fight. Mm. We actually make it like a ball here. Yeah, I love the way you make the ball. Yeah, the way you guys do it is so unique, right? So mm -hmm. they turn it into a nice ball and they put it in and almost nothing falls. You never see any grains fall. This is the whole point that we don't want to lose anything from our hands. Mm -hmm. Chili? Spicy? You think? <laughs> okay, perfect. That was spicy. <laughs> Look at your eyes. That was eyes. good. No, you have to drink lemon. Lemon, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll like grab a piece of this, a little bit of fat, mix it in. It's good enough bite. Try it best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You take the big chicken. Oh, how is it? Fantastic. Scale one to ten, I'd say it's like an eight. It's not killer, mm -hmm. but you feel it, yeah, right? Yeah. And it goes away pretty fast. But then the kill of that heat, you take some lemon. Wow, it really cools it down. You, you have to try this one. Oh, so it's raisins. Sweet. Mm. Yeah, that's a sweet. Because I like it for me. My favorite with the rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can feel the sweets with, with the rice. Yeah, very Make sweet. I guess we have black pepper. Mm -hmm. It's a very homey meal. Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. Again, this is the national dish of the country, so you'll eat this in every city. Being here in the Arabian Peninsula, enjoy life, huh? Uh -huh. So good. <coughs> she had some chili. You okay? <laughs> We have to try this one Perfect. with the bread. So we have to try this one. So which is this one? Meat. And tomato, tomato sauce. So you said with bread? Yeah, ate it with the bread. All right. So I'm gonna mix this with this like huge puri, right? This like in India, it's made from wheat flour. Just break off some piece of bread, and you put in the meat just like that. Incredible. So it's almost like a meat stir fry. Juicy. I love the flavors with the onions, some bell peppers in there. Wow, it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's a, a 
a mix of flavors and textures as well. They cook uh, first the onion mm -hmm. with the vegetables, then they put the meat uh, up, then they uh, keep moving uh, when they cook. Got it. Then because of that, the, there is a mix of the flavor in the uh, Yeah, yeah, there's so much flavor here. Yeah. You have to try this one and this one. Okay. Because this one, it's like it's Similar. without uh, tomato sauce. Got it. So this one is better. So what is this one? This one I told you it's uh, Iraqi rice with the uh, tomato sauce and vegetables. And how do I eat this with a spoon? Yep. Okay, just like this, guys. Mmm. It's like sticky. It's very sticky. Lots of little grains in there. You have the vegetables that have literally fallen apart because it's a stew, right? Wow. It's a, it's a really, really nice contrast of flavors in here as well. This is unique. I've never touched them like this. It, it reminds me of some of the dishes that I've had in Asia. That, that's fantastic. And I feel like the next one, I guess I'm gonna have to do this as well. I said this one, similar to rice, so it's like a, almost like a rice pudding. The rice pudding is sweet, but this one isn't sweet. It, this is not sweet, because we have some onions on top. It's like a rice pudding, not sweet at all. It's pretty bland, but the onions on top give it a nice flavor. Some nice oil in there as well. Give, give it uh, different flavors. No sugar in here, it's not sweet at all. Yeah. Over here, an incredible samosa or sambosa. You usually eat it in Ramadan. Yes. So we break this guy up. This is meat. I don't know, is it a vegetable one? Vegetable. You should definitely get some of this and dip it in here. It's almost like a spicy salsa. It is spicy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's spicy. So most of it is full of vegetables. You have cucumber, you have carrots in here, but nice and crispy mm -hmm. and very little layers, right? So it's super, super, almost feels like a, a, a core of this one. Yeah, it's crispy from outside and from inside, inside it's very uh, mm -hmm. soft. And these two over here are bread dishes. This is with vegetables and this one. So same dishes. One of them has vegetables, which is this one. The other one has no vegetables. So I'll try this. So they put bread in there, and it gets soaked up tomato sauce, and then mixed with some vegetables. I love it. Vegetables in there. I mean, it's just a pure, like, nice broth. It's like soaking into that uh, bread. And wow, I think the kabsa is what won my heart today, though. Kabsa, kabsa. I'm gonna try this one. It's with meat. With meat. Yeah. Okay, even better. That's the best one. Wow. It's called um, Mabuk. So over here we have the other meat. It's pure. Basically just meat and onions and fat, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. Hey, what are you drinking? Oh, I have to drink that? Yeah, that was the drinker. This is the, mm. the actual. It's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, my, uh, uh, they, they used to do this. If this is not there, they put lemon inside uh, the rice. I'm like a local man. Tell you. You'll learn. No. Oh, it was good, it was good, man. This is the best, really. This. That means it's so fresh, right? Yep. Dave, you should try this. This is awesome. This is a different one, it's with meat. Wow. Okay, I'll leave the small piece, I'll leave the big piece for you. So you dip it? Yeah. This is good, your turn. So this is a meat sambosa. Just gotta dip it. Some of that nice yogurt. There's something about the meat in this restaurant. It just keeps blowing us away. Me and Tassos won't stop with the meat. The meat's too good. Yeah, like we were so full, but we keep going. We're impressed. Right, I told you, you can't stop. So she's gonna dip it into this lemon. Very smart to take it. Amazing. Is it pizza for us? Yeah. What is this? Chocolate. This is, this is masabi. It's with brown bread. Brown bread? Yeah, uh, with the honey. And this one, it's called Hneni. It looks very like grainy yeah. and dense. 
Okay, so this first one is wheat flour mixed with dates and ghee. Oh, it's unreal. Right? Yeah, it's super nice and dense. You can taste so many different things in here, right? But this one, similar wheat flour, but this one has honey. Oh my gosh. A wheat pancake. No? Great. It's a mini pancake. Well, this paired with some tea or some coffee, perfect. It's perfect with the coffee, yeah. I'm gonna wait for my my coffee. Your daughters would, would like this. Oh, they would, they would. Here we have some chai. Oh, it's chai. I like this one. This one's without milk. Yeah. This is the good one. Yeah. It's still super hot, no? Mm. It's a brand. Uh, it's with mint. With mint? Mmm. Mm. This almost reminds me of the tea in Morocco. Whoa. Still super hot. You have a nice and minty flavor. And some mint leaves in there somewhere. There you can see it floating right here. Well, we pair this with a little pancake. Try this dessert when you come here. What's the name again? Kneni. Kneni. Mm. What a combo. Oh, too hot. Too hot. You'll wait for it. I'll wait. Here we have some Saudi coffee. Yeah, yeah, let's get this. Woo, woo, so hot, so hot. Uh, this this type of coffee, it's called chagra. It's mean bl uh, blonde, blonde. Yeah, blonde. Blonde. Uh, when when they roast the beans, they they can choose what they want, it dark or light. So when it's be light, it's be blonde. So it's called chagra. All right, sir, let's try this blonde coffee. I love the cardamom. Nice and light. So nice. For us, more food? No, I'm joking. So the total bill was 475 Saudi um, reals, which is exactly 126 US dollars. Obviously a little pricey, but this is more of a touristic restaurant, a little more high end, and this was for four people. Huge meal, and we were taking most of it home, and then it also came with coffee, came with chai, and then also dessert. I think it's definitely something you should try, and I think we're ready. All right, let's go. Shoot, on. Let's go. So we were going to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Daria, but unfortunately, because the area is under construction, they are building like a mega complex, the whole area. Every street is closed. We asked, how do we park? Where do we go? No one could help us out. It's very complicated. 20 minute drive, we made it here to Kingdom Tower and we're going to the Sky Bridge, the observation deck, to get an incredible view over the entire city of Riyadh. They say it's the best view in the entire country. Let's go. This is the most insane view ever. I mean, like we're literally sitting over the entire city right here. Traffic, endless traffic, little cars. Crazy. So like these are all like the different districts, right? Different neighborhoods. But all you see is like all these big, huge square houses. Uh, it's a traditional style here. It's like they have like three or four levels and then different families or like brother that gets married. He has a level with his family, right? That's sort of how it works. You can see how high you are. Uh, it's no joke. And nothing's like, higher. If you're afraid of heights, I would think it twice. Come here. But it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Sky Bridge is incredible. It's a must visit when you come here to ride 300 meters above. This is too much. Like, it is really insane. The perspective here. I've been to so many observation decks in my life. You know, Empire State Building. I've been to the One World Tower, Burj Khalifa. But this takes the cake because of how high we are next to the perspective. No towers higher than us, right? Yeah, and it's the best view in Riyadh. Of course. So, and the price is not that high. $16, not bad. Today I'm taking you to the most legendary shawarma spot in the city. It dates back over 27 years, and this is Mama Nura. This place has so much action. I've never seen a spot with so many massive shawarmas. They have pizza, they have juices. Follow me inside. Okay, this is it. You can see huge restaurants, super, super high ceilings. We have the shawarma, check this out. We got chicken, we have beef. Here we go. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Let's 
go. Look at this. So right here we have a huge chicken shawarma. Generally what you want to do is to cut some, separate to the side. Yes. Oh, it looks so juicy. Everything is pretty cooked. Then from there, you'll add the chicken to the pita. He adds sometimes it adds some garlic sauce, sometimes they don't. And then he adds some uh, french fries. So we do a mix, right? And over here, my friend has this is garlic mixed with mayonnaise, right? So garlic with some mayonnaise. And he also has a nice little pickle, right? Over here, is some more chicken. And this chicken. So uh, these, I guess it's not time yet. It's only. Uh, 5.30 in the evening. And over here we have the beef, right? This one's the best. I had both last night. The beef is the best. And they also have like a nice little like coriander salad over here. And what I love about these shawarmas is they're nice and thin and small. So three is what you need. You need three of them, a nice side of that sauce, some pickles. And over here we have Oh, what is this? Falafel. Falafel. Woo! It doesn't matter where you go in the Middle East, falafel is king. Always. Always, always. You, you cannot go wrong with falafel. Another. Another. This one. This is a good one right here. Mm. And now we're going to the juice counter. It's amazing, it's amazing. Look at this. Look at the juices. Wow, this is like endless juice. Oh, this is what you wrap it. You drink it like water, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Wow. I can replace this for work. Why not? It's so good. It's great stuff. Back into the way for food. Let's go with Let's go. Wow, what a feast. This is too much. All of it. And here we have our massive feast. So we have shawarma, chicken shawarma, beef shawarma, and then we also have the shawarma platters. So that's basically a plate full of chicken, pita, and fries. This is chicken, that's beef. We have fries, we have a mixed salad, we have hummus, babaganoush, we have a tabule, we have like a, I guess like a spicy salad. Or just lettuce and herbs here, and then over here we have garlic as strong as lemon. The best thing. So with this, just go in here, dip. Super strong garlic. You can see how thick it is. Oh, it's so good. This reminds me of Lebanon. Super strong, very right? pungent. Right? Cocktail is like a smoothie, right? So it's a mix of fruits. This is the pure pomegranate. I just had two of them over there. So delicious. So we're gonna start with. Uh, Last night, midnight, and I was so blown away. So there it is. Super nice to it up. You see, nice, nice and simple, right? Just tomato, a beef, a little bit of um, garlic in there, right? And a little bit of tahini. Oh, tahini in there? Okay, so it's tahini. I got it. Oh, I mean, so look at this. He's like over here. And I just dip straight into this, right?
so we left all this food. What are we doing yeah. with it? Actually, they put it in the trash. Uh, they uh, put it to go to the poor people and for the delivery guys who come and deliver uh, some food, they give them uh, the clean, uh, clean food. Well, if we didn't touch it, it goes straight to somebody in need. Fantastic. Okay. And Tassos? Still eating. Still eating. It's still good. It's so hard to stop. Much good. Last bite until tomorrow lunch. Enjoy. Hey, shukran, shukran, Habibi. Shukran. Shukran. Too kind, too kind. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Shukran, shukran. All right, guys. All right. Let's go.